Okay. I'm at a big cave. I'm on my way out. Part way out. Had to stop to switch batteries. Right here, the cave is huge. It's like a couple of the uh, yeah, my camera's not gonna do it justice. But yeah, trust me, it's a, the ceiling's like it's almost a perfect circle. Dozens of feet wide, dozens of feet tall. Very impressive. Wish my camera would do it justice. Oh well. Check out this rock. Most of it's smooth, but it's got this cool fan, like a heat sink shape here. Kind of cool. Very fragile. You could break that with your finger, so please don't touch it if you find it. Light it up on the sides so you can see the shadows. Kind of cool. Notice there's flowstone next to it. Fascinating. Ugh, excuse me.
Here's an arrow pointing the way out. If you haven't pointed, figured out the way out by now, I'd say you're screwed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, in a cave this big, I can understand somebody being confused. See, that's one reason I'm staying to the right. If I keep staying to the right, just follow along the wall, eventually I'm gonna get all the way through the cave. Can't get lost. Same thing if I do the left to go through clockwise. On the other hand, if I were to go to the middle, try to stay in the middle, what if I take a break? And while I take a break, I lose track of which way is forward. Like if I have to zigzag around some rocks or a cliff. Theoretically, I could get lost. One would hope not, but still. If I'm in the middle, so I, I'm not really navigating along one wall. Both walls look pretty much the same. Yeah. It's safer to stay to the side. Now, if there was a trail down the middle, I'd use it. But this is a cave that very little use, and it's too rough to put in a trail. Of course, this cave is huge. You could put in a railroad through here, but don't do that. See, it reminds me of that song Clementine, where it starts in a cavern in a canyon excavating for a mine so did they literally find an existing cavern and start digging in there makes me wonder is it a limestone mine or something to make concrete because you know most of the mines small mines were like for gold it's not like there's a lot of coal prospectors or something be a good parody have everybody rush out west to dig coal Then again, that's kind of the movie Avatar, where they went all the way to a faraway moon to get ob an obtainium. So, yeah. I don't know if James Cameron was deliberately parodying the gold rush. I think it was against, you know, industrialization and militarization in general. But, you know, too much gluttony, materialism. Some people would say capitalism, but remember, it was the military, not a private force. So it wasn't really capitalism. I don't know, they didn't really get into the politics that much in that movie. There are sequels coming out.